Hello guys, welcome to the fifth and final episode of my West Ham FM19 beta series. And yeah guys, it's all coming to an end today, but it's coming to an end with a bang. Because we have got not one, but two games for you guys, and two big games. Because as you can see, we are in seventh in the table, and we're taking on Newcastle in the first game, who are in sixth and just one point ahead of us. So whoever wins this game, more than likely gets sixth in the table for their finish because our second game today is at home against Chelsea. Can we get revenge for the mauling they gave us a couple episodes ago? And Newcastle, just for the record, are playing Manchester City in their last game. So this really is a sixth place playoff. And to finish sixth in the table, I'll be over the moon with that. That would be a great season. I'd be very... Very happy with that. And let's just show you how we have got to this point of 6th against 7th. You was with me for the Everton double header. We beat them in the league 2-0. Easy enough, really. But then semi-final heartbreak. I'm still heartbroken about this game. Don't know how we lost it from being 2-0 up with 3, three minutes left to go. We was 3 minutes away from the final but we managed to throw it away as only West Ham can do. But then after that, we regained our composure, got some better form going. We had a 1-1 draw against Huddersfield. And then we went on a two-game winning run. 2-0 against Burnley. Renato Sanchez, Chicharito with the goals. And then another win, 3-1 against Fulham. Dolberg with a double. Joe Bryan with the other goal, an own goal. From the Fulham man. And then we had again another defeat from 2-0 up. Don't know how we seem to be doing it. But we was 2-0 up against Leicester and lost that game. So that was disappointing. But hopefully we can get back to winning ways today. And just before the game, let's go through the team. We've got Fabianski in goal. Oxford, Reed, Diop in the centre of defence. We got Cresswell, we got Moses on the wings, we got Noble and Sanchez in the middle of the park, and then we got Felipe Anderson, Arnautovic, and Dolberg in the middle. That should be a very exciting front three. Antonio's not been playing that well the last five games, so I thought try something a little bit different. Try put Arnie out on the right, see how that works, see if we can get a decent result with him playing there. But that is a very exciting front three. I think you can agree. And so let's go to the match preview. Newcastle, our favourites, 6-4 as compared to our 13-8. No idea what any of that means, to be honest. I think that means they're just about favourites. And both our form hasn't been the best lately. We did beat Newcastle in the earlier season game. So that gives us some hope going forward to this. And now let's go submit the team. And hopefully get a massive win so we can finish 6th in the table and qualify for Europe. And here's the Newcastle team. They're going with a slightly defensive 4-2-3-1. I'm not sure I like John Joe Selvey being all the way back there. If I was a Newcastle man, I'd be chucking him somewhere a bit nearer the striker. But that's just me. But other than that, they've got Muto on the left. Perez Ritchie behind Dominic Solanke on loan. So, this is a team I think is definitely beatable. So, let's go and beat them. And I'm going to go team talk. I'm going to go assertive, as always. I'm going to say, I want you to ignore the recent praise. No. The media give you a lot of credit lately. So, that's got a few of them motivated. I have faith in you. I have faith in you. God have faith for faith for faith. And, yep. Let's go kick off the game. Okay. Would you believe it? We had zero highlights in that first half. Nudder, nothing. So, as you can see from the stats, we should have had something you would have thought. They've had 11 shots to our 5, 6 on target to our 1. So, they've been the better team so far. So, I have got to change just a couple of bits up. And having not seen anything, I'm not really too sure what to change up. Now, I'm going to go focus play down the wings. And go, yeah, go like that, underlap. 
And then I think that's about it for what I want to change. Take long. I'm going to go take, throw it long. Throw it long is what I'm going to go. And one possession has been lost. Counter press them. And then uh, lower the defensive line a little bit. And then, yeah, go into the team talk. And I'm going to go assertively. I'm far from pleased with what I just saw. Well, because I didn't see anything, did I? I don't know what's been going on. And finally, 48 minutes into the game, we've got a highlight as we clear the ball away, but only goes as far as a Newcastle man. And they're coming back at us. Muto with the shot and just over the bar. Now, Newcastle coming forward again. Muto with the ball. Can we win it back off him, please? We've got half the team around him. And eventually, Reed does get it away. He goes to Arnie, to Sanchez, who just whacks it against the Newcastle man there. Now it goes to Dolberg, who's all alone. He needs some help here. He crosses it, goes to Anderson, who shoots, and he scores. Yes, Casper Dolberg with a beautiful assist there. And that's Felipe Anderson's 12th goal of the season. And as things stand, we are going to go sixth in the table. Dolberg with a nice turn there. And how he saw that pass, I don't know. But he got it right onto Anderson's foot. And that is a beautiful volley. Now we're coming forward again. Arnie with the ball. Coming forward, he runs, he shoots, and that's over the bar. This is better now. We are playing some very nice football. Okay, guys, just making a couple of changes with 20 minutes left to go. Arnautovic hasn't really done much out there on the right. So I've decided to bring Zadas on. Just give him some game time as we go forward. And also I've decided to bring off... Renato Sanchez and bring on Jack Wilshere just to see if he can create something to get us another goal to see this game through. And now Newcastle are coming forward. Dummett with the ball, crosses it in and we head it away but only fires a Demi to Ritchie but his shot is blocked by Cresswell and he clears the ball and that goes out. And now Fabianski with a goal kick, goes long but Selvi wins the header, goes to Perez, to Rondon Oh, our man there tries to take it away, but it's Muto, and I thought it equalised there. I'm going to take us off very attacking and just go to positive. Okay, guys, the referee's final whistle has gone. Not the most amount of highlights you're ever going to see in an FM19 video, but we've got the win. That's the important bit. We are currently sixth in the table, but to be honest, we were second best that whole game. Look at that. 21 shots they had to our 8. 11 on target to our 2. 13 fouls to our 19. So we was a dirtier team. 61% of the ball they had to our 39. How we've won that, I don't know. But we have. And I'm just going to go positively. Very nice victory. And yep, they're all delighted. And I hope you guys are. And I'll be back with you guys in a minute for the Chelsea game. Alright guys, we're back. It's time for the very last game of the season. We are at home against our London rivals, Chelsea. And as you can see, Man City have already played Newcastle and beaten them. So we have got sixth place in the bag, which is a phenomenal result. We will be playing European football next season when I'll be playing this offline. And so... Let's go crack on with the game and try and get a bit of pride back after that demolishing by Chelsea a couple episodes back. And if we just have a look at the tactics screen, we're going with pretty much the same team as what we had in the first game. Except Rice has come in for Winston Reid, who's picked up a knock. And Fredericks is coming on for Victor Moses because obviously we've got Moses on loan from Chelsea so he can't play against them. But other than that, it's the same team. Let's hope it's a bit more of an, of an exciting game. And let's go crack on and get a win and really cement sixth place. So as you can see, they're favourites. They're always going to be, aren't they? Six to four of the odds. And then our form's been better lately, actually. So that's given us a little bit of hope. But let's go crack on, submit the team. Yeah, Fredericks is lacking in match sharpness. Not surprising, he's not played in about 300 years. Chelsea, once again, going with the cheat formation, the 3-4-3, three, three, which everybody knows breaks the match engine. But let's hope we can limit the damage and just get a result. 
So I'm going to go team talk. I'm going to go passionate. We owe Chelsea after what happened in the last game. And that's got most of them motivated. And let's go passionately. I have faith in you. And just once again, faith, faith, faith. It's all about the faith. Now, 10 minutes in, we've got the first highlight of the game. Noble with a corner. But Willian for Chelsea just heads it out. But Anderson is the first to get to it. Goes to Rice. Back to Fredericks with a nice long ball there to Noble, who's in a little bit of space, but it's closed down quickly. He crosses it and goes to Dolberg, and his shot is blocked, and it goes out for another corner. Now, Noble again with it, and this one goes only as far as Oliver Giroud. Goes to Anderson, to Noble. Can Noble get the ball back into the box? He needs some helping out here. And no, he gets fouled there, but they get away with it. Goes to Willian, to Morata. And can we get it back, please? Dill it. And Willian, is he going to get past our defence? No, he's not. Now it's Chelsea with a corner. Kovacic with it. Dill it with a header. And Fabianski saves. Now carrying straight on from that, we're coming forward with the ball. Dolberg back to Cresswell. As the rain appears to have stopped for a minute, which is good. Arnie with a shot and Arnie with the save. What a good stop that was from Kepa. What a stop. Thought that was going to be us taking the lead. And now it's Cresswell with the corner. He whips it in. And oh, the keeper's taken a dive there, but he gets away with it. He takes a free kick. Now Noble again with a corner. It goes almost to Sanchez, but they get it away. Goes to Rice, to Anderson in space. Is he going to go for a shot? No, nope. goes wide to Noble. And Noble, get the ball in earlier, man. He's allowed himself to get closed down there. He had all the time in the world to get a cross in, but he didn't. And now Chelsea countering us. But Fredericks collecting the ball nicely there. And can he get it back to his man? Oh, what's he done there? He's given it to Kante. To Marcos Alonso. In the box, he crosses it in and... I don't know, people. What was the boy thinking there? All he had to do was rose it. And here we go. Have another look. Fredericks just passing it beautifully to Kante. Who then gave it to Alonso, who took it to the byline. And Murata, with the tap-in, gives Chelsea the lead. Now, five minutes after, Cresswell, with the free kick, finds his way to Noble, whose shot hits the post. And he's had another go, and that's gone wide. 38 minutes gone. Rice to Sanchez. Wide to Cresswell. Can he get an early cross in here? Come on, get it past your man. Goes back to Noble. He passes it to Sanchez. Sanchez, oh, there was a man in space there, but he didn't find him. Anderson with a shot, and Anderson gets West Ham level. 1-1. Anderson's 13th goal of the season, assisted by Renato Sanchez. Let's have a butchers at this on the replay. Some very nice, patient play here. Noble to Sanchez, and Sanchez with the pass to Anderson, who took one touch, and then the second one rifled the ball home. And that is half-time, people. Much more exciting first half today than what we had against Newcastle. So, what is the stats looking at? We've got 13 shots to their 8, 6 on target to their 5, 50-50 on the possession. And so, I think we might be able to win this one, which would be a beautiful way to end the series. I'm going to go passionate. Uh, we owe Chelsea. Do I say we owe them again? We've been the better team here. That got nobody motivated. And here we go. Just all about the faith again. Just for whatever reason, just seems to work with this team. And so we've got 45 minutes to finish the season on a beautiful note. As now Chelsea coming forward. Willian to Giroud. Giroud with a long ball there, but can we win this back? Murata with the header. And that's easy for Rice to clear. But again, it only goes as far as Kante. Because as we all know, Kante is always everywhere. I swear there's about five of the man. He covers that much grass on a football pitch. Now just going demanding more. As Cresswell has a free kick which hits the post. And they manage to get it away. And can Cresswell keep the attack going? He does. Goes to Rice. Back to Cresswell. Back to Declan. To Noble. Anderson a little bit of space but he's offside. Now just under an hour gone. Aspilcreta picking the ball up from the goal kick. He clears it long, but Oxford heads it on, but there's nobody there in a claret and blue shirt to collect it. So it goes to Kovacic. It's to Willian, who's in space. Willian's in space. Fabianski with a great stop. Get in, son. And now Kovacic with the corner. 
which Oxford heads out, but again, only goes as far as Willian, to Kovacic. Kovacic with the ball, and Cresswell, great little tackle there, and it goes out for a throw-in. Okay, so now Anderson is looking a little tired, so I'm going to take him off despite his goal. I'm going to bring Zadas on for him. And also, Dolberg's not done a great deal. Do I chuck Chicharito on? I'm going to give it 10 minutes to think about it. Then I'm going to confirm the sub and to see how we go. And then see about taking Dolberg off. As now Zappa Costa with the free kick to Kovacic. Wide back to Zappa Costa. He crosses the ball in. And Jay William with their header. And it goes wide. And I have decided to bring Chicharito on for Dolberg. And just give him a team talk. Just say I've got faith in you. And yet he's motivated. So let's see if the last 20 minutes of the season, can we nick a winner? Cresswell with it. He gets past his man just about, crosses it in, it goes out for a corner. And so can we get anything from this? As now we've got a corner on the other side. Cresswell with it. Well, Jay William heads it away. Goes to Fredericks, back to Cresswell. Hit it early, man. He doesn't. Goes to Fredericks, to Arnie. Arnie back to Cresswell. Can he get the ball into the box? Goes, tries to pass it to Noble, but Noble's too slow to get to it. And now Willian with it. Can we close him down or get the ball back? It goes to Morata. Wide to Alonso. Alonso with the ball. Crosses it in. And oh, thank God for Oxford. He just manages to deflect the ball out for another corner. How many corners is that we've had now? 21 corners in this game. That's an insane amount. And now Kovacic with it. He's out wide. Can we get it back? And that's going to be number 22, people. Fabregas with this one. It's going to be an outswinger. It is. And Rice heads it away. And now Arnie on the counter. Can Arnie get the ball forward to Hernandez? Come on, Arnie. Arnie trying to do it all alone. He's fouled there, but the ball goes out for a throw in. And now Fredericks with a throw in. Arnie's beaten to that, but it goes only as far as Sanchez. Sanchez wide to Aaron Cresswell. He tries to get it to Zadas, but there's a man in the way. It's that man, Kante. And now Fabregas to Morata. Morata with it. Come on, can we get this back? Nicely done, Cresswell. But it's Kante with the shot. And Willian. Oh. Willian, Jose, his 29th goal of the season. Wow. That's an insane return from the man. And let's just have a look at this on the replay. Morata got the ball forward. I thought Cresswell did okay, but it only went to Kante. Hit the post. And thankfully, or luckily for Chelsea, they managed to have a man there just to prod it home. And so now, last 10 minutes, we're going to go very attacking just to try and get a point back. Nice there from Oxford to Cresswell. Cresswell turned... Oh, again, Noble's too slow. But we do get the ball forward. Chicharito brings it down. He needs a teammate here. He finds one in Cresswell. And now come on, get the ball forward. To Sanchez. Fredericks. Fredericks with the ball. Can he cross it in? He does eventually. Goes to Arnie with a header. And Arnie, yes. 2-2. Two, two. Marco Arnautovic has us back on course for a point. Almost immediately following their goal. And what a nice move this was. Again, very patient. More patient than what I was expecting. Fredericks with the cross and Arnie's header just sneaks in past the post. But I am not going to complain. Now, five minutes left. Can we nick a winner? Well, the answer to that is no. But that is still a very, very good result. I'm very happy with that to finish off the season, finish off the series. 2-2 against Chelsea. Let's just go to the team talk. Going to go passionately. Everyone thought we'd get beaten today. Great result. And then I'm just going to show you guys the final league table as we just bring it up full screen here. Uh, it hasn't finished yet. Liverpool have still got to play. So I'll tell you what. I'll go forward to that and then we'll finish this off. Hey guys, here we are. The league table to finish off this season. And as you can see, Liverpool have won the title on the last day of the season. 
by a better goal difference than Manchester City. They beat Brighton 3-0 in their last game. So they've finished first. Man City have obviously come second. United and Arsenal have qualified for the Champions League. Chelsea are in fifth. Us in sixth, which I'm delighted with. Uh, Newcastle in seventh, that's a bit of a surprise. Tottenham down in ninth, that's a shocking season for them. Wolves in 11th, they won the Carling Cup, so or the Carabao Cup, whatever, whatever you want to call it these days. They finished in 11th, but they are in Europe next year. Uh, any other surprises? Watford getting relegated? Miles, you're not happy with that, are you, man? They've been relegated, Cardiff gone down, Burnley gone down. And so, yeah, that's where I'm going to leave this series, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you to everybody who has watched every single episode. If you have, let me know down below. Just let me know so I can thank you. And just, yeah, thank you very, very much. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Met Police is starting any day now. As soon as the databases are out, I'm going to be starting Met Police. I'm really, really looking forward to that. So, yeah, I've got the trailer for that coming out some point next couple days as well. I'm going to be filming that sometime soon. That's going to be funny, I promise you. And so, yeah, uh, what else is there to plug? I've got my Pro Evo 2019 series, one with West Ham. So, if you still want to see more West Ham, that's where you can go. And I've got a Barcelona Classic League series as well. And I've got WWE 2K19, my career mode content. So, subscribe for all that good stuff. And if you do, hit the little bell button as well, so YouTube definitely knows you want to see my videos. Follow me on Twitter, at Bad Jokes Gaming, for all the news on the channel, and any random stuff I feel like tweeting out. And yeah, thank you to everybody who's watched this series. I am Bad Jokes Gaming. I am out. <laughs>